Hello, my beautiful Virgos, Grand Rising Kings and Queens, wherever you are in the world. If you're new to the channel, my name is Leela. I reside in London, UK, and I'm also a Virgo. I'm going to do a general love reading. And before I do, let me get something off my chest. For those of you that maybe are in the UK or you've heard about what's going on in the UK right now, for those of you that is on TikTok, I have never felt more ashamed to be British because what's been highlighted to me through viewing live streams with regards to the riots that's going on here in the uk is that there is still so much racism in the world of course but particularly what i've been viewing here in the uk is just disgusting it's disgusting and for anybody that is racist or has issues towards someone that's another race particularly the black community, the Muslim community, get off, get off my platform. I am what I class to be mixed race. I have grown up in Brixton. Um, my grandfather was part of the Windrush generation. I'm a third generation Jamaican and nah, I don't want any of that on my platform okay we are all human we all bleed the same color we all pass feces the same color fed up i'm fed up i don't want to say my personal opinions but what i would definitely say is the racism it's just it's, it's not for me it's just, I feel disgusted. Anyway, aside from that, we're going to do a general love reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If you find something that does resonate with you, please go ahead and smash the thumbs button. I'd really appreciate you interacting with the video. Shouts out to my returning subs. You know who you are. I appreciate you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Okay. How are you feeling? We have the Queen of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Knight of Wands. This is either how you're feeling or a message of the energy that you need to get into, okay? Queen of Cups, it's good energy, excuse me. This is actually you being highly intuitive at this moment in time or you needing to tap into your intuition. And I know the, I've been having strange dreams every night, every night. And I was really excited, not last night, the night before I woke up. And I looked at my phone and it was actually 444 four, four on the dot to the second, to the minute. And I just felt really excited. And I just I know it's a very it's a very protective number. So please know, Virgo, that a lot of you guys are protected and a lot of you guys are in tune with the spiritual realm, in tune with the universe. Maybe I'm going a bit off topic here. So Queen of Cups, you got so much love to give. See if we can zoom in a little bit. You've got so much love to give, Virgo. Your love is unconditional. You have a great understanding of people's needs and emotions. And you can emphasize with a lot of people. I see you guys thinking about the future. I see you guys hopefully either needing to, doing it already, and that's turning your back on the past. The Three of Wands is about waiting for something good to come in and i feel like a lot of you guys are excited maybe you can't quite pinpoint what it is but you feel the shift you feel the change and it's a positive change the three of wands again you're looking to the future you're trying to plan stuff here you've got ideas and stuff that you want to do maybe you want to travel maybe you want to start a project the knight of wands is um you guys feeling starting to feel like yourself again anyone that you know watches me knows that i've had a really i don't want to say rough but it's been a very a year that to struggle um i've to, to say the least i've been struggling with my mental health yesterday i started to feel like myself again you know singing um thinking about wanting to you know plan a trip with my children and and stuff like that my anxiety was so bad that I didn't want to leave the house. Um, being around big crowds, I still don't like that. I find that quite daunting. But yeah, just wanting to get out more, like feeling more comfortable outside. The Night of Wands is good stuff. It's about adventure. 
it's about enjoying life it's about dancing to the beat of your own drama it's about you finding your passion starting to feel passionate about the future about your life okay that's what i'm getting with regards to how you're feeling again this may not be how you're feeling um, it may be how you need to get into, you need to get into that energy and this is your reminder. So we're going to talk about how your person's feeling. This could be absolutely anybody. I picked up on um, this, I think, yesterday and the same card, the magician card has come out. So I feel like for some of you guys, there's somebody here trying to manifest you. Aside from that, how this person feels about you, this is somebody that sees you as quite a strong character, quite good at what it is that you do, full of wisdom okay you make the impossible happen somebody here feels that you've got everything that you need now of course we know that's probably not the answer because as humans we always want more okay that's just the way we're set up you know um but i feel like somebody definitely is trying to manifest an energy here with you whether it's a new beginning um reaching out to you somebody feels here that you've got a lot going for yourself OK, you're continuing, try, you're continually trying to evolve, grow. And then we have the two of swords. So the, whoever it is here, maybe you've blocked them. Maybe they've blocked you. Maybe this person feels like you've cut them off. You don't want nothing to do with them anymore. They feel like you're just trying to work on yourself. You're trying to get shit done and the rest of it. OK, um, if I have time, I will clarify this to a sword. Now, sit tight, Virgo, because the next question I asked is, who is it that's coming towards you? And it feels quite beautiful indeed. So, in fact, before we do that question, reveal that question, we're going to talk about this two of swords. Why is the two of swords here with regards to how Virgo's person feels? The tower card. Why is the two of swords here? the ten of swords how why is the two of swords here <laughs> ace of swords in reverse the star card on the bottom of the deck in reverse somebody feels like you've lost hope in them you've given up on them you've turned your back on them yeah somebody feels strongly about this somebody feels like um you're not thinking straight maybe your judgment's clouded maybe somebody feels like you're holding back you're not being truthful with them because there is a sense here of denial or holding something back you're not saying exactly how you truly feel they know how you feel but they feel like you're not talking about it okay um i feel like this is somebody that is kind of devastated here devastated that maybe things are, are just completely changed they're not the same you know um and they didn't expect you to do this whether you cut them off or you've completely just kind of closed off to them they didn't expect that but there's new perspectives here there's new awareness this person is learning whether they're letting you know or not they're learning about this connection that you have or had mm -hmm. so i want to move on to Who's coming towards you? And I think it, it, I think this is uh, very nice indeed. So we have the Four of Wands. The Lover's Card, darling. And the Page of Cups. So I think forward energy here with regards to what's coming towards you is something extremely special. It could be with any zodiac sign. For some of you guys, Gemini. But what I see here is maybe an apology. Maybe somebody opening up their heart to you. Um, shooting their shot. Letting you know that I want to be with you, Virgo. This could be a twin flame soulmate energy. This could be something that leads to commitment, marriage. It feels intense. It feels passionate. It feels like a union or reunion here. And I say reunion because the Page of Cups can signify an apology. But something's coming here. And it feels really nice. Yesterday, actually, Virgo, I was out getting some, you know, food for dinner. And um, somebody kind of like showed an interest in me. And it made me feel like 
okay. I still got it. I mean, I wasn't looking the best. <laughs> but it was like, okay, this is nice. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> so I think, yeah, I think a lot of you guys are starting to radiate love and attract love is coming in, I think. Definitely. I, I also think with the moon card here on the bottom of the deck, um, fear, uncertainty is still there. But try try not let it to override here okay if someone wants to take you out on a date let them let them yeah what's the worst that can happen what's the worst that can happen um let's see what the hidden truth is what's the hidden truth in Virgo's current love reading Oh, what was that? I have to get it. I left when I saw you with someone. Maybe something wasn't adding up. Maybe that's why this Two of Swords energy is here. Maybe there's other people involved. Maybe you're just like, you're not feeling the love. Okay. Sometimes as humans, you know, we have this fear of rejection. So we reject people before they reject us. Somebody wants to share their good news with you. Somebody misses talking to you. I'm becoming a better person. Whether that's your energy, theirs or both. Okay. Trying to work on yourself. They're trying to work on themselves. What's the hidden truth? I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. A lot of lessons here. I wish things could be different. Yeah, we all do, but hey-ho. What's the hidden truth? I know I messed everything up. Yep, let them Virgo. Okay, we're not, we're not holding on to people. We're not forcing connections. If they've messed it up, cool. If you've messed it up, cool. We learn, we move, we grow. Just remember who you are. Um, remember this energy here, okay? You're doing all right, Virgo. And if you're not doing all right, you're going to be all right. Remember, my beautiful Virgos, you can book me for a personal reading. Just get in touch. You can follow me on the socials and you can catch me for live tarot. If you'd like to, you're not obliged to do so. Um, if you'd like to leave a donation today, there is a PayPal link in my about section. Okay, again, you're not obliged to do so freaking love you guys for the continued support don't forget to interact with the video okay i wish you a, a beautiful day ahead i may come back later and do another reading if i have time i am about to go to the doctors with my daughter she has an appointment but again as i always say from one virgo to another be kind to others but most importantly be kind to you all right beautiful and the gifted will catch you on the rebound take care my loves Mwah.